Hey guys, today let's play a game of The Last Faith. Uh, this is yet another indie Metroidvania title. Uh, it came out this year, 2023. I mean, there's a lot of Metroidvania type games. And um, yeah, I'm always interested in Metroidvania games. There is a lot of them though. Uh, but let's check this one out to see if it's any different. We got Marksman, Stargazer, Rogue. A new dawn is at hand. The old ways are diminished. Only corruption and deception remain. Damn it. But one rises above all others, falsely claiming salvation. They gather disciples to take all for themselves. And those who defy this deity suffer. They become Hey guys, just play game of The Last Faith. So this is a yet another Metroidvania title <laughs> that uh, came out uh, this year, 2023. And you know, I'm always into Metroidvania titles. There's a lot of them. Um, just interested to see, uh, you know, how, uh, which ones are different, which ones have their own twist on the genre. Uh, let's find out with uh, this one, Last Faith. So we've got Brawler, Rogue, Stargazer, and Marksman. Choose. Let me try Stargazer. Looks a little bit different. Let's see what happens. A new dawn is at hand. The old ways are diminished. Only corruption and deception remain. Okay. The uh, Temple of the Deposed Gods. Alright. We get a typical retro style here. Metro style Met Metrovania. Okay, seen a lot of those, right? Um, personally, my favorite Metrovania titles so far, or indie Metrovania titles so far, have been Hollow Knight, Dead Cells, and Ori the Will of the Wisps. Probably my top three. There's just, there's just been so many. <laughs> okay, this map, and let's see my controls here. attack. Mm -hmm. Gotta give me a way to attack, man. Let's see, controls, oh, keyboard. Find me J and K, okay, interesting. I see. I mean, what, I even played Dust Force this year, right? Dust Force could be considered a Metroidvania title too. And uh, a whole bunch of other ones, right? Axiom Verge is another one. Many. After, I think After Image was another one as well. Too many Metroidvanias. Healy Injection. This one looks more Castlevania for sure. Definitely more Castlevania than Metroid. <laughs> There's some that look more Metroid, like Sundered, for example, looks more Metroid. But this one definitely looks more Castlevania. More like Bloodstained, right? That's another one. Hmm. Yeah, this is more of a, definitely more of a Castlevania type of influence, more so than Metroid. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, another guy here. Marksman? Huh. 
It won't open, which is great. It's all these, all these dead ends. Can I use a healing injection? Hmm. See, how do, how do I use a healing injection here? Use item Y. Transformation. No, we can't transform. I guess I could transform in this game. But I can't right now. But I want to use one of those healing injections. Yeah, that's a healing injection, right? How do I use it? Which item? Oh, okay, use number pad, I see. Nope, that doesn't work. I don't know how to use my healing injections. But anyways, I recovered my health, so... Yeah, how would I use my healing injections here? Nasty ghouls. Hello. Oh shit. Every door is locked, can't be opened. Ah, the great outdoors. Looks like Vancouver rain. <laughs> oh shit. Hey, looks like the guy from Elden Ring, right? Giant patron. Oh shit. Nitrox has consumed you. Hmm. Again. What? Oh shit.
game looks inspired by Souls games too, I think. Yeah, a lot of it is, uh, I mean, it looks like very inspired by some, from Souls likes FromSoft type games. This guy definitely looks FromSoft, right? This enemy. Oh my god. He looks as tough as some FromSoft enemies too. Oh man. Oh shit. Just right under you. Ooh. Oh shit. Ooh. Oh shit. Raining spikes now. Oh no. Oh, I got him down. I got him down. Alright, this game definitely has more of a Souls like type of uh feeling because yeah it's not that easy <laughs> the boss fights are tough just like in a souls like game and actually the enemy design is also like souls like as well beat him got him okay let's go again big boy i know what your attacks are now and how you telegraph them Oh shit. Oh shit. Ah. Oh. oh, I got him down so low last time. <laughs> yeah, this is actually it's like a Metrovania but with souls like elements. I can tell it's got a lot of inspiration from Elden Ring. Or other Souls games. Souls like games, I mean. You can tell the enemy design is like that as well. It's like something from a FromSoft game. Oh my god, this still got me. He did ton, tons of damage. Oh, yeah. I only get killed in like three hits. That's the thing. Oh shit. I that there's a uh, shrapnel. Oh shit. Oh, I did a little bit too long. 
Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh no, shit, I thought I was... Oh, I thought he was gonna go forward. Oh no, it's so close again. Okay, I can do it. I think I can know the kind of the strategy. Always go on his opposite side. So much damage. Unbelievable. Just with that one attack, I'm almost dead. Just one attack. Okay, I'm already almost dead. Might as well just. Yeah. Gotta be tried. Shit. I know I can beat him. I almost got him too. A few times. Saying lost recovered. What does mean? Oh, I'm just like trying to run. I think in that case, I should probably just run in the opposite direction if he does that. When he jumps backwards, I should probably just see. I, I should probably just run in the opposite direction when he when he does that. I have like, um, when he jumps backwards, I have like a instinct, I guess, to jump backwards as well, but I think in those situations it's actually better to go forwards counterintuitively, counter because I think that actually reduces the damage. Let's see.
Oh my god, I can't believe it. He got me. Okay, try me again. A little bit different every time, huh? Oh my god, okay, nope, so jumping forward doesn't help that time either. Oh, okay, I'm done. I think I give up here. I don't think I can do it. Anyways, yeah, I'm just stop, stop here. I think that's enough. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe... It's kind of like Dark Souls, yeah, it's like... Makes you think that you're gonna beat them, but it's actually really difficult. So anyways, guys, that's the last faith. It's a Metroidvania with a little bit of uh, Souls-like in it. <laughs> Especially with the boss fights. So, anyways, if you're interested in a nice, challenging Metroidvania game, um, if you like Dark Souls or Elden Ring, that type of design, but you also want it to be like a 2D platformer Metroidvania, then check it out. Last Faith. Thanks for watching, guys.